I've been sent from the hack heavens to deliver you some good news. That's right. I'm coming at you with seven hidden Wix editor hacks that you likely didn't even know existed. Hey, my name is MPS here from Wix Training Academy, and I am thrilled to be delivering you today's content. If you're brand new here, welcome to the channel. If you haven't already, collectively as a community, we want you part of our Wix Nation tribe. It all starts by hitting that subscribe button and turning those bell notifications on, and you'll instantly join the largest Wix training community on the internet. Who doesn't want to be part of that community, right? So let's now go ahead and jump into these editor hacks. Okay, so we are here in the Wix editor. The hacks that I'm going to show you today are exponentially going to increase your productivity within the editor. And I'm sure there are things that you've seen throughout the editor time and time again, but didn't even realize could help you increase your workflow. So first and foremost, the first hack I would like to show you is if we take this button right here, many times people are like, well, I just want to easily, you know, copy and paste this button on a different page. The first hack I'm going to show you is actually utilizing our toolbar up here. If you click this little guy right here, you can press copy and then you can press paste like that. And then just like that, you've got another button that you can copy and paste in between pages. And the copy paste function is that simple, that easy. Now, a lot of people have also asked me, Michael, you know, I'm designing my website, but I haven't been able to easily delete something or how do I delete an element on my page? Well, there's a couple ways you can go about this. Depending on if you're Mac or PC, you can click on an element and click backspace or delete or you can go back to that tool panel again and you can click this little trash icon and it'll delete the highlighted element that you're on. So copy and paste, delete, those are two cool little functions that'll help increase your productivity, increase your workflow, especially with the toolbar right there. Another thing I wanted to note is our third Wix editor hack is actually pretty nifty. A lot of people don't even recognize this as a thing. How many times have you been over here on this left hand side trying to edit something but these these buttons are in your way, right? You can't get the element because every time you go to grab it, it's, it's hidden behind it. Here's one way to easily and instantly fix that problem. If you come up here, you can click this little arrow and you can hide controls and just like that, you've hidden controls and you can bring your button and move it around without the uh, worry of those controls in the way. And then you would just click that button again to show the controls. Okay, so now editor hack number four, you're probably asking yourself, well, Michael, how do you have these grid lines on your page, huh? And what you do to access your grid lines is you'll go up here to tools and you can actually activate your toolbar from tools as well. You can add rulers so that way you can evenly space things out on the page, add your grid lines, but above the most important and helpful tools is this snap to objects. You're gonna wanna have this checked on, I'll tell you why. Because if you come in here and you move an object, you can see it shows a line when you hit certain points on a page or certain levels from a certain element. So it becomes really helpful. And if I copy this, you'll see, watch, come down here and you can see it lines it up evenly. So that snap to objects is such a helpful hack. So that's another one. Um, so we've gone through four. Now five, what I wanted to show you is just simply being able to come up here and switch between desktop and mobile editors. So when you click that mobile button, it'll take you to your mobile editor here and it'll allow you to edit your mobile page. So that way you have full control over your mobile page. Now editor X is coming to market very soon. It's in beta right now, but editor X will clear up the need to really have to come in here like mobile and rearrange your entire site. It's a responsive editor. So that's coming very soon. Super excited about that. Um, but that was the fifth editor hack. What I wanted to show you next is actually really cool. And this is the sixth, and I'm going to go back to desktop, is actually if you go up here to site and you press get feedback, this is a really, really nifty tool. What you can do is this get feedback will pop up. Now, I don't have a published website here, which is why the link isn't here. But what you would do is you would copy this link 
and then you would send it to either clients if you're a web designer or developer, or you can send it to your team, family, friends, whoever you want to take a look at your site, and they can provide real-time feedback comments on different elements on your website, and you can actually go in, use the Get, Be uh, Get Feedback uh, resource editor, and you can actually resolve comments, respond to comments, and actually view real-time feedback. I mean, it works just like that. So you can view real-time feedback on your site and you'll get a special Get Feedback response alert to your email that says you've got new Get Feedback responses or new Get Feedback comments. Go view them and you'll be able to view them and you can make those edits right there on the fly on your site and resolve Get Feedback comments. Extremely powerful tool. And then lastly, this one is super, super helpful as well. And it is the undo, redo buttons. Guys, if you're anything like me, I'm not perfect. Sometimes I'll make a big mistake or delete something crucial on my site. And I'm like, oh no, I did not want to delete that. And then you have that moment of panic where you sit there and then everything in your body stops and you freeze up. And you have no idea what you're going to do because hours and hours or days and days or weeks or weeks of work was just deleted by one accidental click of the button. Here's the way to change that. Oh no, we just deleted a button, but we didn't because we pressed undo. Or, oh no, we deleted the button or we added the button. We actually needed to delete it. Well, we just pressed that redo button and it brings it back. There you go, guys. Seven Wix editor hacks that you likely didn't know about. I hope this video helped you out. If it did, I would kindly ask that you drop a like down below. Comment, let me know which hack was your favorite. And if you'd like to see another version of this type of video, because I've got a whole bunch more I can show you. And lastly, collectively as a community, we want you part of our Wix Nation tribe. You'll instantly plug into the largest global Wix training community on the internet. It's an exciting, fun, engaging place. It all starts by clicking that subscribe button and turning those bell notifications on so you never miss any content here on the channel. And I can tell you what, we are rolling content out like crazy to help you and to help this community. Thank you so much for watching. I hope that message from the uh, hack heavens was helpful. And once again, thank you for watching today's video. Catch you on our next one.